Excellent. Uh, so Enriching uh, Environmental was uh, founded by Tim Duggan. Um, uh, we take what is perceived as a waste and transform it into highly valuable material, and it's that word waste that we kind of try and distance ourselves from because it's more of a resource. Um, our activities span um, nationwide. We have operations in the UK. Uh, we distribute material all around Ireland, and we have uh, now become the largest producer of organic fertilizer in the UAE. Um, from uh, from years, our, we've gathered a lot of feedback coming back from our customers, and uh, it became apparent that um, there was a lack of, lack of knowledge around the use of organic fertilizers and materials. Uh, so that's how we developed our consulting agency. And from that, we've developed an experienced team that has multifaceted of use in uh, all areas. Sorry, this is uh, our team. Um, in which is environmentally effective and environmentally uh, sustainable. Um, this is our facility in, in Kakak. Uh, we have two boxes in here. We have uh, Invesco composting at the foreground and uh, Windrow composting uh, there that we, we use. Um, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the composting process. Uh, basically, it's in a very kind of basic level, it's the conversion of sugars to kilowatts. Um, just energy into food. Um, in order to optimize the process, we invested a lot of resources uh, to understand the physical and chemical properties um, of the different biological agents in compost. And what's, when we compost it, what's delivered is just uh, we take out heat and water through the material. Um, this is an example of uh, acceptance areas in the UAE. Uh, we accept a load of it, different materials, uh, food materials, and we, we blend it on the, the various nutrient values. So we can customize the compost at the end to get a, a very rich, nutritious compost that is benefited uh, to the next level. So it's, it's all, it's taking a considered waste and bringing it to the next level that is used, and it's uh, taking out the, the, uh, the likes of chemical fertilizers and everything like that. Um, this is the open window in UAE, where once we're blended the material, it's brought into these uh, kind of channels where it's constantly turned mo uh, and monitored to kind of get the best conditions. And it roughly takes about 90 days for that material to go through. This is a picture of uh, the heat generated from the composting. Um, composting uh, naturally heats up to above 60 degrees, and that's where we get thermophilic uh, pasteurization, where we're killing wheat seeds and, and uh, pathogens. Um, so there's a kind of a heat stage where it kind of goes up to a high level where the microbes are in full activity and it decreases and then that's where we get a full <coughs> unit um, stable compost. This is a, a picture of our investor technology in, in Kokok. So you can see the, the hardware involved in it um, and a level of investment so just to, to do the composting. Um, this um, enrich, accept a variety of organic materials. Um, <coughs> materials from green garden materials from recycling centres all around the country. And we take uh, MBD uh, missile waste from blackburn waste, the organic fraction, organic fines. Um, and it, again, taking that material that is considered a waste and transforming it into a, a product. Um, we have, from this, we take the compost and we have a variety of uses. Um, and high value uses and used in specific areas like construction areas, construction projects, on engineered soils for st uh, load stability, and um, private gardens, um, and local authorities use it, and uh, golf courses. And this is an area that we're, we're using in golf courses. It's because it's a higher value and uh, we're displacing a lot more chemical fertilizer that was once always used, and which has a, a lot of uh, negative effects where it leachates in golf courses. Uh, in Ireland, we have nationwide uh, distribution um, through all our stockists, so anywhere in Ireland they can, they can just go into their hardware or nursery or anywhere and get our material. Um, There's a picture of our, our, our screener, and as I was saying, we, we take the material and we, we're looking at different uses and it's innovating the product to go into different areas. So this is a, 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 a top chosen mix for golf courses. Um, as we say, there's a variety of or, uh, products that we make. 
um, different soils, different roof substrates and structured soils for different uh, applications. And in one of the areas is green roof, which is, which is becoming more popular in around Ireland, is green roofs and putting a substrate up on top to have stormwater management, bringing up habitat and ecology in the area. And that's something that's it's prevalent in around Dublin. But the material that we make is solely made on recycled material. We take in crushed clay brick from um, waste uh, manufacturing areas and blend it with our compost. And it's just bringing up a live source up on the roof and it's creating a habitat even for, for bees and wildlife. Um, this is an area, which is a picture of one of the projects we did. It's uh, an alley store, the top one is an alley store, a green roof and an alley store. It was the very first one in Ireland and it was down to a condition of planning and it was, that's the only reason why it was actually put in there for planning. But now in Dublin city there's, there's a lot more policies involved which are encouraging green use, use for stormwater management and ecology, which is a huge thing. This is just another, uh, in Grange Gorman campus, uh, just street tree planting, um, just in the area, and then just a digital hub which had, uh, we imported a lot of soil and just put in uh, bark for sustainable uh, weed management. Um, as we say, we have two advantages. Um, or the circular economy solves two problems for us. It eliminates uh, the waste uh, that is going to landfill, but it also reduces uh, the use of finite materials, the sense of uh, displacing peat uh, from even growing medias or even golf course mixes. And um, so, by composting in which we're diverting the material that once once went to landfill is now being used in the higher products and the higher value product, uh, products. Um, so, <coughs> by, um, by using our compost as a soil amendment, it addresses the physical, chemical and biological uh, requirements of a soil that uh, only, and when using uh, a synthetic fertilizer is used, it's only the chemical aspect that is, is, is used. No, sorry. Um, just I, I added this slide just for a trial area that we did in UAE, and it was it's a very simple project, and we, we focus on a lot of elements, just on grass growth, uh, color, and everything. But one thing that came apparent was they plant a lot of uh, grass to cover areas, obviously, but uh, the organic matter that we included in uh, into the soil reduced water. Water is normally used at 15 litres per square metre in the UAE just to get grass established. We were able to reduce it then to five and we were able to get more grass cover, better grass growth and uh, more plant re disease resistant material. Um, this is the challenges that we see for the circular economy. Um, the kind of public identity to environmental issues. Uh, people are just not really looking or concerned or looking at how material is, is used or, or wasted. And a good example of this is we carry out consultancy work for um, Ferry House Racecourse. And um, when we were in there doing uh, our work, after one of the meets, the, uh, there was, they had people in cleaning off all the rubbish and plastic that was lying around. Uh, one guy who was, I just watched, he went to his car just to get his lunch, and he was there eating his lunch, and just after, he finished, he just threw the, his wrappers and things out the window. And it just it kind of emphasized his, his thought process that he was there to pay to clean the material, but then his thought process still to just throw it out. It's just that, that waste, it was just a very funny, stupid thing. Uh, the lack of material, one of the challenges we see is the lack of available organic material in uh, a feedstock in Ireland. We built our plant uh, back in 2010 solely for uh, food material. Um, that material never materialised. We use now uh, organic fines. Um, the material just, it's not been there. It's, it's now been landfilled, can't be landfilled or exported. And you probably see a lot on the news where material has just been put into large packets and just sent off to uh, European countries just for burning and stuff like that. So it's, it's a loss of material there. Unfavourable renewable energy schemes, uh, higher feeding tariffs in AD in, um, in Northern Ireland, UK, which means businesses to kind of get established to handle material is, 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 uh, is, is being lost. Uh, environmentally regime or task as opposed to outcome, outcome driven. 
circular economy opportunities. Um, new markets um, will always, there will always be waste. Um, not word waste, but there's always a decline in, in soil quality. And we can see hand in hand. We can take organic material and uh, we establish into uh, a compost that can be then used as a, a soil amendment. Uh, I've put in the Irish uh, uh, ink, which is, we worked with Queen's University and DCU to kind of uh, establish a huge amount of, or collaborate with, to get a lot of and added knowledge from um, composting. We were then use this knowledge to kind of export it um, to the UAE and other countries and that helped them ban it. So I'm just saying there's a lot of uh, knowledge already in, existing in Ireland that can be just brought to the, to the forefront and kind of monetized. And that's the next thing is uh, bringing on. So better living standards um, within uh, just promoting the circular economy, uh, provide future generations uh, with the same potential as the past. Um, uh, we see uh, constantly uh, flora and fauna being lost in uh, natural resources that's been uh, extracted, like peat and stuff like that. But the products that we're building or manufacturing to use on top of roof is bringing back uh, ecology and biodiversity onto rooftops and urban areas. So simply just in bringing in the green roofs helps bees that are now in decline in around the area, so which have a, a huge impact on our whole daily lives. Um, so hopefully I've given you an insight into enriched activities and um, how we embrace the circular economy um, and uh, how we've become an economical and environmental sustainable business. So thank you.